from today and joins us now live with the latest from Indianapolis. Sierra? Yeah, thanks, Tom. I'm live outside the federal courthouse in Indianapolis right now. We're inside the courtroom today. The topics of discussion all circled around the staffing needs for the Vigo County Jail and also the rezoning for the future jail. Right now, the Vigo County Sheriff's Office has posted 27 full-time positions and nine part-time positions. They've started the interview process and say the hiring process should be completed in a few weeks, but that the training might take a few months to get these new hires completely trained. Also, as far as the location goes, a site has been chosen, but an independent analysis done shows that the site has to be rezoned. A report stating whether or not the property is viable is due back to the court by December 19th. I think the greatest thing about this whole thing is that, you know, for the first time in, in the 27 years I've been with the sheriff's office, we're actually going to have staff uh, to actually do the things that we need to do that we are constitutionally bound to do on a daily basis. No, I'm obviously concerned that there are matters outside of the defendant's hands at this point for the one piece of property, but I've also been informed that there are other pieces of property available if this, if this falls through. Now, everything moving forward is relying on setting that future site in stone. Once that site is officially determined, they will be able to finalize the design of the new jail as well as the additional staffing needs that are needed. Reporting live in Indianapolis with local news that matters, I'm Sierra Hignite, WTWO. Thank you, Sierra. The next hearing will.